aggressive, dynamic, mean. That's how Athea Gibson described her playing style. As one of the most important superstars of the 20th century, her influence is better defined by words like pioneer and hero. Althea Gibson was a natural athlete. She played basketball, boxing, and paddle tennis before finding her way to the American Tennis Association and the Cosmopolitan Club. It didn't take long for Gibson to emerge as a dominant force, one who would not be contained by the era's segregationist tennis structure. In 1950, at the age of 23, Gibson made history by breaking the color barrier at the U.S. National Championship. She became the first black player to ever step foot on the courts at Forest Hill. But this was no token accomplishment. Althea Gibson played to win, and she did. Even as the racial tumult of the 1950s swirled around her, she became one of the best players the game had ever seen. In 1956, she became the first African-American to win a Grand Slam title. In 1957 and 1958, she won Wimbledon and the U.S. Nationals. In 1958, the Associated Press named her the Female Athlete of the Year. Her history-making, stereotype-shattering career included 11 Grand Slam victories, five singles titles, five doubles titles, and one mixed doubles title. That sterling resume earned her induction into the International Tennis Hall of Fame, the Black Tennis Hall of Fame, and the Black Athletes Hall of Fame. Gibson may have defined her game as aggressive, dynamic, and mean, but her career excellence is better described by words like icon, barrier breaker, and game changer.